Hello, welcome back everyone to FLD, the app created by Farmer Yip for Farming Simulator 11. We are in the harvest field, kind of harvesting our last field of wheat and trying to bring close to the long harvest season that we've had. Thankful for the harvest that we had, we've been able to purchase a lot of, of new equipment. Oh, this thing is having trouble. I don't know, did I offload enough? Maybe I did offload enough. Can't really tell if I captured all of it, so I'll take, okay, just a little drop more. For some reason, he's skipping a few areas over here. It's like he's having trouble negotiating the hillside. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Cycle through the old equipment again. You know, I'm gonna start him kind of on up the hill. We're gonna need him. I was thinking we could just get away with leaving our little, uh, oh, ah, uh, that gate. <laughs> Bounce up the hill. We'll just cut across our dirt field here, since there's no crop planted in it. And we'll kind of continue on the, oop, let me get on the road. That would be helpful. Sneak across here. We need to do something about this hedge as soon as we can afford the hedge trimmer. Wow, this little guy moves. Wow. I'm going to have to, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> and I know there's some hard objects here with those fence posts, so I'll try to steer clear. But I want to get it up the hill because we have a pea field up there that will be turning into bales, I think, is probably one of the final acts of harvest. And, and really the last cash crops here that we're trying to, to uh, harvest in the field, we got a massive load of debt. We're about 80 grand in debt for all the equipment purchases and whatnot that we've had. And there's some additional equipment that we're still gonna need. I'd like to purchase a fertilizer spreader. I think I need about 5,000 more for that. Uh, though I'll be pegging my debt back up to 100,000. But thankfully right now, interest rates are low, which is helpful to us. And on hard mode, I think I had the ability for interest rates to go up even beyond 10%. I kind of think it, when we started the game, the interest rates were much higher. So we'll worm our way through the, the uh, barnyard here, which actually we're not at very often, and we'll take it up the hill here. Get up to where, where we can use it. It's actually a field I made. I kind of like it. It's down over the hill. Maybe there would have been a quicker way to go there. This is just kind of the way on the road, if you will. We'll get up here to take care of business while we're waiting for our combine to fill. And you know, speaking of combine, look at here. Yeah, I don't really have room to sneak up here beside all this canola. Um, but speaking of combine, we do have that field over there of corn, and our corn header has been sitting clear on the other side of the map, so I kind of think uh, I'll do all that off cam so you don't have to have me drive this silly combine all over creation while you guys will watch. But yeah, here's a little gate I put in here. Well, kind of a gate. Oh boy, hardly room to take machinery in and out of here. Isn't that just cool? Look at that. Sheer drop off almost. There's kind of the fish-shaped field down there. Across the way is our, our hapless sheep cranking out the wool for us. Oh, my. I must have made this road a little too bumpy. I might have to come in and improve it a little bit. Here are our peas. And I think they're fully mature now. And... I'd kind of like to turn them loose uh, cutting it. 
I think I'll wait just a little bit. I'll maybe get this set up. Let me see here. Keypad 2, dry grass, OSR. These are P's. I want it on the left side. And, oh yes, I need to open this up. So I still don't know exactly what that does. But it's. I think it's something that looks out ahead and that tells it where to where to look so we'll leave him there for the moment and we'll head back over here let's go see our combine that'll get only 38 percent full working on a small triangle piece up here so actually you know what i think we're in a pretty good spot that we can head back to here and just simply start bailing always a little messy to be doing it at the same time in the field but that's all right yeah we got a little area down here oh okay here we go folks we just ran out of rope so we'll get it kind of over here and maybe it pops up a message I don't see one so maybe we'll turn this off and hop out actually let me just no ropes okay so it does tell us in here we were able to do one bale and now we're past a thousand we are out of ropes so it's very clever what they have set up here and i can't remember if i've showed this but right here i think if we you know i'm not seeing my health menu so let me see if we can open this i think it's o to open it as we can see there's no ropes in there i think if i hit key x it reloads it i don't know why it doesn't fill every compartment uh but it just does not so this is what it forces us to do when it runs out of twine so now we have retwined it and we will hop back in here like i say it isn't displaying my help menu and I'm not sure why. But it is showing the HUD up there for it, which is kind of cool. This was, what we just did, was our thousandth bale in the Feldy map. And there's a question I'd be curious to know the answer to. You know, what is the most bales you've ever done in a map? You know, I know some people well, everybody plays this just a little bit differently. You know, there are some people who just love to cut grass for whatever reason. There's other people who all they mainly want to do is harvest, you know, and I don't know what they do the rest of the time. You know, maybe they just harvest and they close them app and they do it over again or, or whatever. But there's different things. And, and, you know, I've also seen people who, you know, in more recent versions of the game, they're only interested in timber. And at the farming, they could care less about. They just want to cut trees. And some of them are very good. They're very dexterous, you know, with their fingers to handle logs and everything. It's kind of a unique skill all in its in its own right. Oh, our combine uh, looks like it's done. So we'll hop out of here. Oh, yes. Let's just turn it off. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, while I'm here, I'm going to go grab these little pieces here. I mean, why not, right? Let's just grab this. It's going to lay a little more windrow down. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, now I see why it's having trouble in here. I think the shape of the hill is a little cattywampus, you know, that it doesn't want to. Oh, <laughs> as that's why it's skipping some of this. It isn't that it doesn't want to do it. It's the shape of the ground. So I'm maybe going to need to terraform the field just a little bit to make it easier on our harvester. So we'll try to take care of that. You know, interestingly enough, I am not able to display my help menu, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that's alright. We don't need the help menu very often. 
will get up here and turn it loose so he can continue his fine job of going around and around to harvest the field. We'll go back to our baler and continue the work. And I know what I started at asking was, you know, how many bales have you ever made in a map? And is it something you enjoy doing? And I know in this, in the older versions of Farming Sim, bale handling could really be kind of problematic. You know, I'm just so thankful. We've talked about out of before. I'm thankful that we have an auto bale pickup mechanism. Otherwise, I would just be toast. You know, I think if ArmSim 15 and 17, I've done a little bale handling, and the physics had improved uh, by quite a bit, you know, once we got to those versions. But even then, I mean, 15 had this uncanny ability. You could make this beautiful stack of bales. And then if you just stood there and watched them, it was like they were fidgeting, just moving slightly one against another. And eventually, if you weren't, uh, or, or well, if you couldn't really do anything about it, whether you liked it or not, eventually your stacks would start just falling apart. And I, it had something to do with the physics engine, I don't know, but it was so frustrating. You know, you'd work really hard picking up these bales, using a bale fork. They had that part pretty well figured out to where it would work, you know, reasonably well. And you could stack them on a truck reasonably well too, but they're just, they wouldn't stay in a stack for you, you know, when you would have a standalone area that you would put them. Unlike in real life where they obviously hold together pretty well. No, I don't want to tangle with that gate. Yeah. <laughs> Those gates tantalizingly open up every time I get close to them as I try to turn around, but I really want to stay kind of out of their reach. All right, Combine, what are you doing? Oh, really? You can't see that extra little bit of grain down there. I, oops, wrong way. Oh, yes, it looks like it can see it. Let's see if it'll recognize it and turn. No, I don't think it does. It doesn't. So let me pull up the HUD again, and we'll just <clears throat> get him to auto-do the last little bit. Zip along here, do a few more bales. Well, the other problem with bales or really any object, I don't care if it's bales, but it's especially true probably of equipment. You know, if you were to stay, have too many bales on the map, it eventually I think the, it, it bogs the game engine down, and I know if you were doing multiplayer, I think it flat out puts a limit in there as to how many bales you were allowed to have on the map at any given time. And I know it's a small enough number that it could be really frustrating, you know, if you're trying to accomplish something and all of a sudden get limited out. I'd have to study the code. I'm not sure there's a limit for when you're playing single player, you know, like I'm doing here. Uh, really not sure about that. Um, but I do know that if you get a whole bunch of physics object X all in one area, you could tend to have lag. Actually, let me see here. I think our combine is done. Oh, oh, I don't want to do the ad. Let me get this out. We're going to go collect what he has. Head on down. I've never harvested this field before, so this was kind of fun. But like I say, I may need to come in and do a little terraforming to uh, smooth it off a little bit so he has a little bit easier time. So we'll collect the wheat, and I think, yeah, I'm going to need to take it to market it. Uh, we'll get him going kind of on the canola field over here, but I'm going to need to take it to market. Why isn't he off the of Oh, I know what it is. 
He probably doesn't have... There, you got to get it all the way out in order for it to... In order for it to register as being out. So he's done with the wheat, and we'll keep the grain table on. We have one more field, and I don't think there's any need to put it on the trailer at the moment. What... Uh, what we'll do is just drive straight up. Oh, we're dragging that pail with us. Try to keep from hitting anything on our way. But we are, yes, I gotta go get the pesky uh, corn uh, header. So, okay, here's a new field. And, alright, so if we open this up, we want to go find canola. You know, does it have canola? Maybe sunflower will go grape seed. Hmm. I wonder if uh is there anything else? Barley beet oats, rye, yeah, a lot of these we don't even have it in the map, rapeseed, you know, I think that's uh, what we got to do, we'll see if it takes it here, and starts harvesting, it is, so that's a, uh, a good sign, so I'll tell you what, we'll turn him loose, and we will hop down to the market, and dispense with our wheat. And I think before I do that, by the way, because I don't want to run out of fuel, I'm going to just go take a slurp here. It's going to take some money. We'll get all filled up to make sure we can actually get it back. Mm, don't hit my trailer. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to dragging the combine over there. Uh, oh, couldn't make the, uh, oh shoot, don't anybody look, nobody, nothing to see here, just a farmer wandering through his own fence. And you know, there are, there have been some mods developed over the years, I'm not sure there were any for Farm Sim 11, although I could be mistaken, to where you could use other vehicles to attach to various things like headers and I don't know that the uh, corn header goes on the header trailer maybe it does what I do know is a combine when it picks it up you're able to fold it so I kind of think that particular header is designed to be picked up only by the combine but I don't know maybe what I should do is take the trailer over there and see if I can pick it up and put it on there but the trouble is you know, if I do take the trailer over there, I have to use the combine in order to pick up the header anyways. So I just as well drive the combine over, pick up the header, and, and bring it back over. So, I mean, there's no way of avoiding it, you know, unless I were to make a mod or something with a special attacher, you know, where even a tractor or something could pick up a header and transport it somewhere. I sure would be helpful, I think. I seem to recall in Farm Sim 09 that there was something that did that, uh, but I don't know that I have one in here. All right, one more load of wheat. All right, give me some money, money, money. Maybe I'll get over 5,000. Cool. Just enough to take another bite of my death. And I think, you know, I'm close enough now, I would have enough to purchase the fertilizer spreader. But I think I'll hold off just a little bit until we get through the harvest and, and then I'll make some machinery purchases. I think I already have the chook box and it's sitting over there uh, where, all, where the store is, kind of in the middle, upper middle of the map. So. I have the at least, I think there's a fair bit of wool that I could go snag and haul to uh, market, get some money there, pay some debt. 
We have a boatload of bales to haul. I have those peas up there, you know, that I'm going to be cutting shortly with my little windrower. There'll be a bunch of bales there. So I'm really hoping we can head into winter with the entire equipment contingent that we need uh, coming out of it and enough extra that we don't totally go into mind-numbing debt, you know, just trying to get all of our fields planted. And even as I talk about all this debt, you know, when I think about what we've accomplished in here with a single harvest, no fertilization to speak of, not a single shred of it, and we've been able to buy all this equipment, we've paid off our debt, you know, a number of times. I mean, you would never do this in real life. It just, it doesn't work that way. So we're obviously coming from a position of having owned or that we currently own all this land. I've never seen a mod, well, I take that back. I guess I did see a mod once where the player could buy the fields in Farm Sim 11, but it didn't force you to. And so you could farm the fields anyways, nobody would stop you and you could do it even when you didn't own it. Um, but I don't know that I've ever seen one that had it locked tight. Uh, here, let me get this guy going. Oh, 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 I forgot. I have to... Yeah, this is a problem in the script. I probably should figure out a way to fix this. So let me put this down. And there we go. Now he's putting down the windrow like a good fellow. A nice, big, thick windrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll get lots of bales off here. I love this field over here. It's, it's kind of just the top of a hill up here, the knob, and then it goes down over the side. Just beautiful views, such as they are. And, you know, initially when I made it, I was thinking, man, this is going to be one of the steepest fields. But I'm not sure it really even is the steepest field, all things considered. You know, it still has some altitude change in here, but really... I don't know that it's uh, any different substantively than any of the other fields on here. And quite a bit less steep than some of them. So we'll let uh, this fella do his work. He's going to come down here all the way to the bottom. We could even put another access point down here on the flat. So, But we don't have one at the moment. The way we access it is up top. We'll let him do what he's going to do. And we'll head back to our baler keep cranking them out. You know what? I'm going to save it. There was a time or two, I can't remember if I expressed this in here, where, you know, because I, I don't have as strong a computer as what I would like, um, but when I play, my personal style is I'm more than willing to put up with a little lag or a little uh, reduction in frames per second. I mean, I'm sure what the FPS is right now, 42, 43. So you can see, I mean, the standard is to try to shoot for 60, but I always try to inc increase the view distance so I get to see the better looking foliage um, up close. You can kind of see out there a little ways, kind of where the circle ends. I think I have it out 100 meters maybe. And, of course, that's going to cost you a little computing power, a little FPS. But it costs you in some other ways, too. And for me, it's come in the form of random uh, random exits of the game. <laughs> It'll just all of a sudden show this thing called a bad allocation error. I have no idea what that means. All I know is it kicks me out of the game. And, brother, if you haven't saved prior to the end, you're kind of toast. And so I've had to redo a few things a few times, and once bitten, twice shy, as they say. So I'm trying to save uh, with some regularity when I'm in here. Although these episodes at half an hour, it, it isn't too bad to have to redo too many things. So Combine is still going out to town, and... 
Yeah, that canola, we're actually not going to sell that, of course. We're going to take it to our biofuel. I think we're badly in need of some canola, actually. We have a bunch of corn in there. Um, but we need some canola to match up with it so we can make some more biofuel. Everything in here is connected together. You know, we need biofuel for so many different processes. And... <laughs> we just we gotta keep the intensity up producing the stuff or we kind of gum up the works and if we don't have it we're basically just on standard agriculture if you will I'm trying to get up here yeah there's some really squiggly I definitely need to terraform some more up here to kind of improve this but I caught sight of our little windrower kind of across the way, the fortress working over there in the peas, kind of coming up and around the field. So, you know, he's on his oop, first uh, run, so we'll be over there bailing at some point. But I think when the combine is done over here in the canola, we're going to go right over into the corn. And, and the corn... I almost wonder if the corn yields higher. That's something maybe we need to keep in mind is when we try to procure crop for the biofuel down there is to know which one we need more acres of. And kind of like I was mentioning earlier, I want to do a little experiment with the OSR to see if it yields better per acre than, uh, than does canola. And I really don't know how that's going to come out. I just know we've talked in here before that in these earlier versions of Farming Sim, the windrows don't fairly reflect what uh, what crop is there. So if we had a combine in here, for example, that had a 100 meter wide header, it would still put down the same size of windrow behind it that we have that you see right now. That's what I mean by unfair. So the smaller the windrow, the more you can get out of your field, at least in terms of bales and material that you pick up. So I'm gonna try to see if that theory is true also with OSR, because for OSR, you have to windrow it first before you combine it. So, and like I mentioned before, I was trying to make it compatible with the fertilization layer so that so that there's incentive to fertilize it and have it make uh, make a difference. But I do need to get a special header for it. And that uh, costs me money. I think it was 25000 don't remember exactly. But at some point I'll finally have everything we need in here and it'll probably happen sooner rather than later really I mean, I'm sure everybody knows this dynamic when you start off the game you're you're behind the eight ball and you're in debt and it, <laughs> you can't hardly make the time go quick enough to try to get out of debt and earn money but then it seems like you get to a point when you're fat and um, happy and comfortable if you will and you have everything that you need and probably for most of us that is maybe the point when a map isn't quite as much fun anymore to play when you're not no longer having to reach for for something that you still need and it's my personal opinion that that's one of the reasons like in the newer versions well even this one here you know when they give you other stuff oops to purchase you know things like uh, a windmill or uh, you know, cells that you can put on your house for to generate electricity, those kinds of things. A lot of times I think they just give that to you and they put a monster price tag on it so you can buy this and say, you know, look, I achieved this. I got this big old thing, you know, installed on my map or whatever on my farm. Well, really, it's just a place to park capital. And if you didn't have it, you'd have all that money in the bank. And like I say, it probably wouldn't feel as, as fun as it did. Come on, Combine, are you filling up down there? Seems like he's still harvesting away, so 
Yeah, it really goes a long time when you don't have any fertilization on there. And so I am I'm looking forward to the, the coming harvest to having everything fertilized that we can and having much better yields. It's just going to help in all ways. We'll have more biofuel, we'll just have more, more of everything. We'll be in a better position of abundance. Oh, we got the silly bale right in the way, so we're going to shoo shit out of the road. Yeah, he's, the combine is still coming, so he's taking his time. That's okay, we'll just keep our bailing. This handy HUD, I kind of like how it works, where it tells you how many you've made kind of in the gaming session that you're in, and then it tells you how many is untotaled. So we're already over 60 bales in this session, so there's a lot of bale collecting I'm probably going to do off camera. I don't know if that's something people enjoy watching or not. <laughs> Maybe you don't enjoy watching the bales being made either. That was the bell that just rang, and once again, that was a gift to me from my dear friend Eustace Farmer as he tried to help me with making YouTube videos to help me know when I had jibber jabbered for 30 minutes straight. But surely we'll have a combine full of canola before we close this out. And then, like I say, I think I have a bunch of off-cam work to do to kind of clean up some more details. We're gonna have lots of fields in here to reduce to dirt, get the old cultivator going. And I am looking forward to next season. Yeah, there's going to be no bales, obviously, over in the... Oh, he's still going. Dude. All right, let's just pause right here. And 82%. Wow. That's just not that much at all. All right, well, why don't we just call it good for this episode? Thank you so much for coming along and spending some time here on Feldy. Hope you're enjoying the map. You all have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.